The end of time won't come until you see mountains removed from their places. When I was in Mecca, there's mountains have been removed from Mecca. Quran, one of the mountains that's known as the Ahad al Akhshabain. When the angels came to the Prophet and they asked him if he wanted to see the mountains, that they would yutbiquhuma ala Quraysh. One of them was Abi Qubais and the other was Qua'i Qu'an. Qua'i Qu'an has been removed. It's gone. It's no longer there. The mountain is gone. A mountain that the Prophet ﷺ walked in its shade. A mountain that the Prophet ﷺ probably climbed as a boy. This mountain is now removed. Either, then the Prophet ﷺ said, لا تقوم السعت حتى تزول الجبال عن أماكنها these are signs for people to reflect. The Prophet told, I was on the Arabian Peninsula with my family, walking on the beach, and I came upon people in a public beach, having sexual intercourse, in a public beach on the Arabian Peninsula. With, I'm, I'm not making this up. This is the level of facade that is happening on our planet. The Prophet ﷺ said, لا تقوم الساعة حتى يتحارج الناس تحارج الحمير That the end of time won't come until people are like animals, openly. He said, وسلم, that one of the signs of the end of time is civilized people would walk with their thighs exposed in the marketplaces. بادية الأفخاذ في الأسواق People, pens, he said, would be everywhere. He said that people out of their love of the world, you would get two income families. That people would be two income families. That he said a woman will out hirsan out of dunya, tu'inu zawjaha out of tijara. Out of love for this world, she'll work like her husband to earn livelihood, neglecting the children. Some people are forced to do that. And there's no blame on that. But there's people that just out of love of dunya, they will abandon their children and go out. These are, these are the things that are happening around us. He told us that towards the end of time, you will see the, the, the people, the ala, ri'asha yata'awaluna fil bunyan. He said there will be poor people who were the, the desert people and they were poor and they were taking care of goats and, and animals and then they'll begin to build huge buildings. These are signs before your very eyes. You, we're seeing signs of our Prophet ﷺ. He told us that you will see the, the buildings of Mecca reach the mountaintops. The buildings of Mecca will reach the mountaintops. And this is happening in our lifetime. When I first went to Mecca, there were no buildings even close to the tops of the mountains of Mecca. And now it's filled with buildings that are beginning to reach the mountaintops. I was on one of the tallest mountains in Mecca, and you can see the clock tower now surpasses the mountains. The Prophet ﷺ said in, in a hadith, he said, إِذَا رَأَيْتُمْ Mecca, بُعِجَتْ كَضَائِمًا If you see Mecca, if you see its mountains with holes pierced through them, this is what it means. Bu'ijat kadha'ima. Wa yatasawa bunyanuha ru'usa jibadiha. And you see the buildings reach the, or in a riwaya ta'lu, they will actually surpass the mountaintops. And then he said, faqad avallata sa'atu. It means that the sa'a has cast its shadow. Imam Asiyuti says in this, hiya ibaratun an dunuwa sa'a. It means that the, the hour is near, it's coming close. But if you took that literally, and in Hadith tradition, in the Usuli tradition, Asur al-Kalam al-Haqiqah, that if the Prophet says something, you should always interpret it literally, unless there's a reason to go to a metaphorical interpretation. Now we have the clock tower casting a shadow over the Kaaba. So the clock tower, what do they call it in Saudi Arabia? As Sa'a. Laqad awalata Sa'atu. You could take it literally, the clock has cast its shadow over the Kaaba. Literally or metaphorically, Iqtarabata Sa'atu and Shaq al Qamar. The hour is drawing near.